Taurus, how you doing? I'm going to be doing your reading here for June. And we're just going to jump right into it and see what's going on. These are general readings, so just take what resonates, leave the rest out, and um, you know, flip the energies if you need to. This could be you here, someone that you're thinking about, so just kind of flip it. All right, so let's see what we got going on for Taurus. What's going on here for Taurus in June? Already in June. This year's flying. This year is flying pretty quick. We have the full Aries energy here. Wow, the sun. What, the wheel? Yeah, the full, the sun, the wheel. Right off the bat in your reading here. That's the overall energy. The two of cups. Whoa. This is... I do, should I even continue? Just leave it right here. But there's always a catch, right, Taurus? There's always a catch. Um, I mean, it looks good. Okay, so we have the Fool, we have the Sun, we have the Wheel, we have the Two of Cups as your overall energy. And I always look at the bottom of the deck, and we have the Six of Wands. So there's something here that's going to make you really happy, okay? Um, now, there is a new beginning. I don't feel like, you know... I don't feel like this is like taking a leap towards something new. I don't feel any of that. I feel like there's an awakening, you know? I feel like there's, you're waking up to something here, which is bringing you happiness, or you're looking at things in more of a positive, you know, you're looking at things more positive now. And this could be in anything. This could be in relationships. This could be a work situation. And like in work situations, if things are, you know, not every day is going to be perfect, um, so you're looking at the bright side of things, you know, the positive side of things, you know, like you, you know, anything that you can kind of, any negativity, you're kind of turning that into positivity, if that makes any sense. Um, you have the wheel here, so there's a new cycle coming in for you, or at least you're starting this new cycle of wanting just good things to come towards you here, but you're attracting something new, you're, you're attracting a new connection, and you're feeling good here, there's, there's a sense of inner power, or going into your power here. Let's see what the fool is all about. It feels like a sense of just being, like I said, awakening to something here. See, you have the world. Yeah, this is there's there's a feeling of like um, you're just wanting something new now. You know, it's like um, you're done with with uh, the same old things over and over again. You're wanting new things. Um, you know, there's just a sense of appreciating things differently now, too. Seven of Wands. Let me get one more card on the world. You have Death and Rebirth. See, you're ending, there's an end of a, um, something old here, and you're starting something new. There's a, there's a sense of transformation, to be honest, Taurus. There's a, you have Temperance over here, too. Sagittarius Energy. It's like, Things are balancing out, or you're making, you're taking the initiative to balance out things in your life, and this could just be better relationships with the families, friends, um, you know, something like that. Here, you, you're you're changing your frequency to vibe higher. Damn, that's nice because you're bring, you're attracting, you're attracting now. Let's see the sun, Ace of Pentacles. So you have the you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you, you get a new opportunity. There's something new here coming for you. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, see how the energy, the ener your energy is very, like, playful here. I mean, not to say we won't get any, you know, the reading's not done yet, right? So um, there's there's always going to be some sort of overthinking. We don't have it here yet, but I can kind of feel like there's overthinking, maybe doubting yourself and things like that. But there is a sense of you're, you're being more positive than negative, which is good. But like I said, it's bringing you new opportunities, and this could be involving work, you know, or just a new, something new here beginning for you, okay? But um, it's an opportunity. It's a chance to start something. It's not like it's, you know, here's 100,000 coming towards you. No, this is a chance to move in more of a, a better direction here. And, and again, it's ending and wanting some sort of new beginning here, but it, it's not the feeling of taking a leap of faith. It's, it's a feeling of awakening. You know, just opening your eyes to the good things now. For some reason, you've been blocked. Maybe you've been blocked for quite some time, and it's like this sense of things are looking differently for you. You have the Queen of Cups. 
Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, you know, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive as well. And this is kind of going in within and going deep in your emotions here and trying to see, you know, what you want. You have the King of Cups here as well. And again, there's you're you're attracting a new new energies here. And for, you know, some of you guys, this could be a, a romantic relationship here. But um, for others of you, this could just be partnerships. This is something that you, you know, have good friendships with. Um, you have the Eight of Cups here. Um, you know, a lot of it's just walking away from past situations. You're walking away from things that didn't serve you anymore. So you can start this new beginning, okay? More water. You, you went through, you know, like I said, you've digged, dug deep into your emotions here and worked on yourself ace of cups a lot of aces on the table here we have the two of cups we have death the five of wands did fall out in reverse and it kind of left here so it's kind of like you're you're in this energy of not wanting drama conflict competition um understanding your value here you know it's like picking your battles you know it's like if there's a situation that comes up, it's like, isn't it even worth your time and energy right now? So you're focused so much on something else and, and um, you know, trying to move forward in a better direction that you're, you're not worried about any sort of gossip or uh, anything like that. And you have the Ten of Wands there too. So it's like, for some of you guys, this could be travel coming up here for you. Okay, let's see what this Two of Cups is all about for Taurus. You have the Five of Pentacles. And in the past, you may have felt, you know, connections weren't coming so easy for you. You know, maybe even going out there trying to date and meet new people and things like that. But, um, you know, I feel like things are changing. Things, Someone is coming towards you here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, let me get another card. We have the King of Cups here. Let me just get another card on the Five of Pentacles because... That's just kind of like not believing into this new connection. You have the judgment card here. So it's like you kind of have to make a decision. I knew some swords will come out. There's a decision that needs to be made. You know, there's, there's a sense that you're kind of changing into working on yourself, you know, choosing yourself and doing your own things. But there's a new connection coming in or a new partnership. And I feel like you have to make a decision, you know, whether you want to, put some time and energy into creating this but the judgment over here I do feel like it's something good for you you have the five of cups and then you have the ace of wands here it's like it's time to let go of the past you know that's kind of what I'm seeing here I don't know if the past is holding you back or um well, the past, well, I don't know if you are thinking of the past where it's holding you back from moving forward with someone new. Um, now, this could just be energy of someone that you're around. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in here as well. But this could be someone in your energy that is thinking about you, um, which is kind of, I kind of feel like you feel this energy as well. So it kind of stops you from moving forward into a new connection here. So... So what's 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 going to happen with that? Let me get two cards. Yeah. So for some of you guys, there's going to be a um, communication here from someone from the past. We do have the Sagittarius New Moon here. Eight of Wands is Sagittarius energy, and the Moon is at the bottom of the deck here. So you know, this coming full Moon, you could have some sort of communication from this person. Um, but with the Nine of Wands here, you are protecting your energy. I feel like it's just closure that's coming up for you. Um, but you do, I do feel like you're moving towards this new connection. See the Hierophant, this is Taurus energy. So you do move towards this new connection and start something new, but possibly taking your time with it, you know? The Three of Cups, this is, you know, this is just kind of being friends and, um, you know, going out, having a good time. Uh, higher font here is like, there's a potential for long term for this new person. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be in this energy of just kind of working on yourself, though, too. So this is kind of far out, this new connection here. So I feel like there's still going to be some sort of closure of a past situation, but it's not going to be as extreme that, as it was before, meaning that you're not thinking about this all the time. It's becoming less and less. And then, you know, this full moon in Sagittarius, I feel like there's a a chance of communication or there's a set of where 
things are kind of discussed and closed out to where you get to move forward in your relationship ways. But other than that, your energy over here is kind of moving towards creating something pretty nice for you. So you, you're choosing yourself and it brings you better things here. Okay, so new opportunities is coming towards you is what I'm seeing. All right, Taurus. But, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I see. And um, if this did resonate, hit the like, subscribe if you guys have not already. And I'll be coming out with some weeklies. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.